What's up guys, it's Beefo Flex and in this video I want to talk to you guys about my favorite way of training That's weighted calisthenics I want to teach you guys, I want to show you guys why it's so amazing Why it is the best way of training and how you can get started, when to get started And how to progress in your training Weighted calisthenics is amazing You become way stronger than your body weight Rather than simply mastering your body weight You become stronger than your body weight And on top of that you can build muscle right Through continuously adding more resistance Now to fully understand why weighted calisthenics is so amazing let's look at why calisthenics is amazing all right now calisthenics is amazing because of two main reasons in my opinion right this is how this is the reasons i think calisthenics is amazing right besides the convenience side i'm talking about why it's amazing to give you gains not why it's amazing in life in general there are way more reasons but why calisthenics is amazing for building muscle and getting stronger is reason number one you're mainly using compound movements right basic compound movements you're not messing around doing isolation exercises wasteful exercises rather you're continuously training the basics and this is very important when it comes to building muscle and getting stronger you see when you're lifting weights like even if you look at my biceps guys if you look if you notice my biceps i've got quite good biceps even my triceps looks very look very good however i don't do bicep curls or tricep extensions i simply train compound movements and they get hit when i do those movements you see this is what's amazing about, about calisthenics and because of doing compound movements your body ends up being well rounded you don't end up looking unbalanced the second reason calisthenics is amazing is because it stops you from becoming complacent or content where you're at you see when you're lifting weights it's easy to continue to lift the same amount of weight and not try to push yourself as long as you're doing five sets of, of 10 or three sets of 12 right whereas when you're doing calisthenics you want to continuously get better if you're doing knee push-ups you want to stop and do regular push-ups if you're doing regular push-ups you want to eventually be able to do one arm push-ups if you can't do pull-ups you're progressing to get to the pull-up once you can do pull-up you're trying to do a muscle-up or explosive pull-ups or one arm pull-ups right calisthenics is not the place to be when you simply want to stay in the same position whereas as i said when it comes to weight training there are a lot of people who are comfortable going to the gym and basically doing nothing right doing the exact same amount of weight barely putting on any new stimulus to the muscle now of course using only calisthenics and only your body weight like stopping at only your body weight and not adding any external weight has its limits there's only so much resistance you can use there's only so much you can leverage your body and also it's hard to get stronger without using external weight to help you get stronger see with my one arm pull up i didn't just use simple leverage movements the main exercise i used with one arm pull-ups was actually weighted pull-ups and personally i think if you stick to doing only weighted pull-ups right and you gradually increase your strength you'll get the one arm pull-up the only reason i couldn't continuously just do what weighted pull-ups was i ran out of like heavy weights in my house so obviously i had to work around with my leverages right because i didn't have enough weights right but in general my first one arm pull-up came from doing weighted pull-ups guys and this is why weighted calisthenics is amazing you see weighted calisthenics makes you better at regular calisthenics and it makes you better at weight as well you see i did this video and i posted it on tiktok right this is me after my 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 weighted calisthenics workout i did a weighted pull-up workout right at the end of my weighted pull-up workout i went to max out the max pull down machine i i went to max it out and i did right the majority of people who are good at weighted calisthenics if you if you got a strong weighted pull-up you'll easily max out a lap pull down machine but that does not translate the other way around being good at a lap pull down machine doesn't mean you're going to be amazing at pull-ups you see weighted calisthenics is truly the best and it is unbeatable and you know that because the goats goku and vegeta train weighted calisthenics and you know the funny thing is that's why i started training weighted calisthenics it was from watching dragon ball I, when i seen dragon ball characters this was on pushing though because i never did pulling exercises but when watching dragon ball characters uh goku in in on his way to namek vegeta when he was trying to transform into a super saiyan like watching him train with weighted calisthenics made me start training with weighted calisthenics and guys i'm telling you the gains are real now after my rant I'm now going to show you exactly how you can progress to weighted calisthenics. All right? Let's start with when to start training weighted calisthenics. Once you can do more than 10 reps on an exercise, you can start adding weight to that exercise. So if you're doing push-ups, once you can do more than 10 clean push-ups with perfect form, I'm talking your nose touching the floor, some people even touch your chest to the floor, and all the way up and squeezing your chest, perfect reps for 10 reps, 
you're good to start adding weight. Same with pull-ups, right? Once you can do 10 pull-ups, clean. I'm talking squeezing at the top of the movement and fully locking out at the bottom of the movement, you can start training weighted calisthenics, right? If you want to start adding weighted calisthenics to your one-arm push-ups, make sure that you can do at least 10 in a set of regular one-arm push-ups with perfect form. The main movements that people train with weighted calisthenics, right, are weighted pull-ups, weighted push-ups, weighted inverted rows or horizontal pull-ups, and weighted dips. You can also use weighted handstand push-ups or weighted pike push-ups if you can't do handstand push-ups. Um, that's also an amazing exercise. You see, compound movement. Now, I'm going to teach you guys from my experience, right, this is just solely what what works for me i'm not saying this is the only thing that works but what i find most progress with is training with no less than three reps okay when i train with less than three reps i don't progress as well as when i train with a minimum of three reps so i either train when i do weighted calisthenics with three reps or i train with five reps it's one of the two you can also train six or more reps. Personally, I'm just not interested in that. You know, I feel like it beats the purpose of training with weight because you're trying to get much stronger. So yeah, that's how I like to train. I like to, I like to start off with three hard sets, right? Doing something close to my three rep max. Sometimes it could be a four rep max, but more time it's a three rep max for three hard sets. And then I do three easier sets with something lighter, like a five rep max you see when you train with weighted calisthenics you're more likely to experience myofibrillar hypertrophy okay you see there's two types of hypertrophy myofibrillar and sacroplasmic one of them is the stronger and more dense form of muscle and the other one is the bigger softer kind of muscle they are fairly related and more time you will tap into both forms of hypertrophy but when you are training weighted calisthenics you're more likely to get the stronger denser version right the myofibrillar hypertrophy but as i said that's how i like to train so i either do three by three followed by three by five or i simply do three by three right so three sets of three reps or i do five by three five by five three by five or i go crazy and i do 10 by five or 10 by three you can play around with all of those rep ranges test it see how it works with you it might work for me but it might not work for you so test out which one you feel is best next up when to progress okay so when it comes to weight calisthenics it can be tough to know when to progress it's kind of the same with when you're training with weights when you're doing bench press shoulder press you know lap pull downs when do you progress personally because i train in that low rep range once my three rep max becomes my five rep max i know to change the lower rep training so normally when i do let's say three by three right i know to increase that weight if that normal weight that i used to train three by three with now becomes my five rep max does that make any sense same with your five rep max once your five rep max becomes something that you can do for seven or more reps increase that weight a little bit as well the higher your rep count the more you're just gonna have to go with it and see how it works whereas when you're training for kind of strength slash muscle it's easier to understand when to progress the weight now there are goals right there are goals that you want to achieve when it comes to weighted calisthenics okay so let's say you are training with an added 25 percent of your body weight okay so 1.25 times your body weight right so you let's say you weigh 100 kilos or 220 pounds and you add on an extra 25 kilos or 60 pounds right around about that right that's a begin level of weighted calisthenics not saying beginner in training but beginner for weighted calisthenics once you're adding 50 percent that's intermediate right you're getting into that intermediate level once you're adding 75 percent you are advanced and then on top of that once you're doing a hundred percent added so two times your body weight in total you are elite you are literally elite you're amazing and over that you're just legendary you're that vitali feshuk or austin dunham you're a legendary guy there are a couple things i want to say real quick before ending the video i want to say that you need to watch out when you're training weight calisthenics you need to take care of your joints okay so if you are experiencing joint pain stop chill right if you are doing weighted pull-ups and you're exper experiencing joint pain but you don't want to lose any strength maybe try out doing some weighted chin-ups instead i find at least for myself i feel more elbow pain when doing pull-ups than chin-ups but guys take it slow on your joints because your joints do not progress as fast as your muscles do okay so take it easy on your joints eventually they will catch up so just take it easy and make sure that you allow your body time to adapt
Another thing is you do not need to have perfect reps. If you fall short of getting a full range of motion, that's not that deep. You're training for progression. So gradually you can see your range of motion increase. You see, when I train three by three, my range of motion started off terrible gradually it, in, it improved so once you can get at least four fifths of the range of motion right you're good at least get one clean rep the next ones don't need to be perfect trust me if you're looking for a workout plan based on weighted calisthenics a workout plan which can help you get stronger and build muscle then try out my gravity chamber workout plan i'll leave it in the link in my description box anyway it's beautiful flex and i'm out beautiful flex